What is up, YouTube? It's Pastor Bob. I wanted to show you how uh, my welding came out. See how I welded the front? It's pretty good, huh? I know, it looks a little fancy. Yeah, I'm welds. I had to do a couple nice welds. Why? Because my brother Tom would bust my beans if I didn't have a couple of them looking sexy. What I usually do is, if you look at these, the reason why they look kind of weird is because I overlap welds. So instead of using a plate, I'll overlap the welds and I weave them. And that's why you see them look a little clunky. But they're not. They're really strong. I'm going to put my initials in there. Look. Fancy dancy. <laughs> anyway, so I got this down here that I welded in, and I welded it down in there, I welded it in the front, and then I welded this cross section in, and then the same thing over here, I welded the spar across, and by God that should be pretty strong. Now all I have to do is go underneath and weld it, and I should be pretty good. Anyways, I wanted to give you an update so you guys could see what I was doing. i got to make the adjustment um, for here. Because my brother was asking me about this, because when you pull this tire out like this, you see how it leans in? what you do is you make an extension for your shock absorber right here and what that does is it pushes the a-frame down okay and it'll straighten this this wheel here out okay so instead of canting in it would cant out it'll be all right and then later on i'll show you my next project that i'm doing to it so hope you liked it Hope it's a little informative in case you guys want to, you know, pick up a used ATV. You probably say, why'd you tear it apart? Well, I'm going to tell you why. To buy sections like this, okay? Of course, it's an upper and lower A-frame, which didn't really make a difference, right? It is a couple hundred bucks. And then you got the other metals and pieces that you're going to have to do, right? So we're talking about three to four hundred dollars. Easy. Okay, so I paid $50 for this ATV. Okay, you do the math. I mean, it doesn't take a brainiac to figure that out. Rocket scientist. Well, probably take a rocket scientist a lot longer. Because they're too busy sitting down with a bunch of pieces of paper and figures. And they're out figuring themselves. Me, I just kind of look at it and say, oh, what kind of angle would look cool on that? And how strong would that be? And how many points of whales is there? Okay, that'll work. And in my family, everybody busts your beans, right? So by the time you get done with everybody busting your beans, you're going to have it right. Eventually. Because, you know, the great inspectors have got to come out and inspect it. You know? And trust me, I have a family full of them. And, of course, they don't always agree. That's, that's a rarity for anybody to agree in my family. <laughs> so, if it passes all the inspector's eyes, which they themselves wouldn't have done it in, God, three times as much time. Because they're too busy fighting with their own brains. But see, even though they give me advice, sometimes they give me good advice. Sometimes I don't want to hear their advice. <laughs> sometimes it's good, and I don't want to let them know it's good. You know why? Because they're so damn ornery. <laughs> now, I have uh, a couple of welders in the family, but my brother, Turtle, he's, uh, he's a professional welder. That's what he does. So, the only one I really give a rat's ass about is when he says it. Because then, because you know, he showed me how to weld a little bit. You know, I, I learned how to stick weld years ago. Okay. But, 
Learning how to arc weld or MIG weld is a little bit different. So he showed me some techniques, you know. So just because you know how to weld doesn't mean you're a professional welder. And I am not a professional welder. As far as angles are concerned, you know, I learned angles from building houses. I did that for many years. So that's not too hard. You know, in cutting gemstones and stuff, you can you learn angles. You just have to put those types of angles and that type of um, um, hobby or profession into whatever you're doing. And interlink them. There's nothing wrong with that. But I hope you liked it. I appreciate uh, the good and bad comments. You know. But remember guys. Before you waste all your money on fancy brand new steel, do the math. Can you take something old? You know, can you, I mean, I could have rebuilt that. But, I'm trying to get this done. And this car is more important because I ride it all the time. So was it worth it to me? Absolutely. Why? Well, look what I got yesterday. Same guy that I got that car over there from. Remember? Sweet deal I got on that. Well, he took it for a buzz. He loved it yesterday, by the way. He'll be coming to the channel soon. Hang out with you guys. He got me this. Now, does it look pretty bad? Well, I don't know what the kid was doing in there, but he tore it all apart. <laughs> That's all right. We'll try to get it back to uh, as much as what it's supposed to look like. But this is an old Honda Odyssey. And uh, I figure, well, what I'll do is try to get it back to the way it, somewhat it was. It probably won't be perfect. I don't think there's any help for that engine. So, but there are some parts. I mean, I could probably get a 420 in there. A Predator 420. And I can use this whole jack shaft assembly, which that's fine. And get rid of the rest of it. But, hey, the price is right. It's got some pretty fat, meaty tires on it. Good frame. This is a heavy sucker. You know, I think this was the Odyssey 250. I don't know where the tag is. Might be around here somewhere. But I think it's a 250. I'm pretty sure of that. So, hey. Something else to do, I guess. It's pretty neat. Sure that I'll get it somewhat. I think the motor's trashed. And let's face it, the motor's wasn't the best. The 350s were better. Um, this one here doesn't have a suspension in it. If you look, it's got a little bit of, uh, it's got shocks in it, but outside of that, really not much to it. But, hey, why not, right? Try it. Look at that. I think the guy was going to pull it out. Look at that motor. <laughs> so, one of these days we'll have to tear that apart and... Save up some money for a few months, and I'll put a 420 in this. We'll see what she does. Everybody might say, oh, why don't you totally restore it? I was really thinking about it yesterday, and I was talking to my brother, and he said I should, but... You know what? Maybe make it look really nice and try to get the fenders back in order and make it look halfway decent and... Put a nice 420 in there, and she'll be a ripper. It's a lot of work. You know, these sell for two, three thousand dollars, and I think the uh, 350 sell for anywhere from five to six thousand dollars. Now, I guess that depends on what you got in it too, you know. But for me, I just want to make it run good and look good and rip it around the yard. We'll see. Anyways. 
it's getting kind of long so i'll cut it cut it off here so i hope you all have a good week if i don't see you like share subscribe who knows you might see me pop up on saturday or sunday do a little father's day auction something special if i did it on mother's day i got to do something on father's day and a couple people asked me what i was going to do i didn't plan on anything but hey maybe i go jump up do something really special you know maybe i'll do like 10 morgans or something i don't know 10 morgans at a special price and if i can get the deal local dealer to do me a good deal for father's day i don't know we'll see and then some free giveaways Otherwise, I'm probably going to hear a lot of bitching because I didn't do it. So, who knows? It's either Saturday night or Sunday. Stay tuned because it'll just be one of those things when I do the auction. All right, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Love you guys. Take care. God bless. And I'll catch you all later. Reverend Bob is out of here.